For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this uh, last problem for the day for me, where they want you to find determine the magnitudes of the couple moments M1, M2, and M3 so that the resultant couple moment is zero. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find the Cartesian vector form of all these moments and just build some equations. And then when we build those equations, just solve them. So that's going to be our strategy. Now, M1 has only a magnitude on the positive y direction. Therefore, the Cartesian vector form of M1 is equal to M1 in the J. Now, M2 has uh, only a magnitude going towards the negative x direction because it's parallel to the x going towards the negative x. So the Cartesian vector form of m2 is equal to negative, negative m2 times i. So we got 2 right off the bat. m3, we need to find a univector aiming parallel to m3 in order to be able to find its Cartesian vector form. Now, how do we find that univector? I'm going to call this point right here, point A. Say A. Now, you know that A sits at 2 in the i, minus 2 in the j, plus 1 in the k, just by observing the graph. And the magnitude of A can easily be found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So, 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square is 9. And the square root of that should be 3. The univector is simply given by dividing A by its magnitude. And it comes out to be 0.667 in the I minus 0.667 in the J plus 0.333 in the K. And the Cartesian vector form of M3 is given by multiplying its magnitude times a univector aiming in the same direction. Which, which is found, which comes out to be 0.667 m3 in the i minus 0.667 m3 in the j plus 0.333 m3 in the k. There's a k there, I swear. So we got m1, m2, and m3. Now the only one, last one that we need to find is m4 to build our equations. Now m4, I'm calling this one m4 by the way. Now, M4 has a magnitude of 150 pounds per foot. So how do we find M4? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find this projection right here. That projection we're going to call M4 in the X and Y plane because it's a projection in the X and Y plane. To find that projection, you just do 150 times the cosine of 45 because it's that angle given right here. And it comes out to be 106.1. Let me scroll down a little bit so I have more space. Now, now that we have that projection, we can find the x and y components. The x, com the x component is positive and the y component is negative. Important to know that. So we got mx, we need my, and we need mc. And this is all for, for m4. Now, the x is easily given by multiplying that projection by the cosine, actually the sine of 45. And it comes out to be 75. And it's positive, I told you that. Y is negative because it's going towards the negative Y direction, it's going that way. So Y is found by doing the projection times the cosine of 45. And it comes out to be negative 75. And the C is this component right here which is given by the magnitude, the whole magnitude of M4, not the projection, which is 150 times the sine of 45 and comes out to be negative 106.1. Remember, it's negative because it's going down. So the Cartesian vector form of M4 is equal to 75 positive minus 75 in the J minus 106.1 in the K. So now that we have M1, M2, M3, and M4 in Cartesian vector form, by adding the i's with the i's, the j's with the j's, and the k's with the k's, and setting them equal to zero, 
you can build your three equations. So let me just basically add a new layer and rewrite everything so it's easier to understand. So the Cartesian vector form of M1 we said to be 0 in the i plus m1 in the j plus 0 in the k. Cartesian vector form of m2 we said to be minus m2 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k. Cartesian vector form of m3 we found to be 0.667 m3 in the i minus 0.667 m3 in the j plus 0.333 m3 in the k and last but not least m4 we found to have a cartesian vector form of 75 in the i minus 75 in the j minus 106.1 in the k and you know that when you add these all up they want you to cancel out that's what the exercise says what the sum has to be zero so basically we're going to build three equations in the i, in the j, in the k. In the i is 0 minus m2 plus 0.667 m3 is e plus 75 is equal to 0. So minus m2 plus 0.667 m3 plus 75 is equal to 0. In the j we have m1 minus 0.667 m3 minus 75 is equal to 0 and in the k we have 0.333 m3 minus 106.1 is equal to 0. The last equation you can solve for m3 right off the bat and you get that m3 is equal to 318.6 foot pounds and now that we have M3, you can plug in them into this equation and find M1. And you're going to get that M1 is equal to 287.5 foot pounds. And you can plug it into this equation and you're going to get that M2 is equal to 287.5 foot pounds. So those are the magnitudes of M1, M2 and M3 so that the resultant moment onto this assembly is zero. So final answer for M1, final answer for M2, and final answer for M3. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.